Time. The history and future of everything. Remastered. Time makes sense in small pieces. But when yeah. you look at huge stretches of time, it's almost impossible to wrap your head around things. That's very true. I mean, even on the smaller side of things, right? We're talking about long stretches of time and how we can't comprehend them. But we also can't comprehend extremely small stretches of time either. There's things that come into existence, live out their entire existence, and then end their existence in time length so small that it's inconceivable to us. So let's start small with minutes, okay. hours, days. Yeah, that's stuff that we can put our head around. We spent the last 24 hours mostly sleeping and working, and you probably wasted a good chunk Coffee. of coffee day on the internet. I feel personally attacked. Days become weeks, weeks become months, and then we have a year. Let's look at 2017. France <laughs> started to train eagles. Promoting their calendar with the year. A Czech nuclear power plant held a bikini contest to pick their new intern. Wait, what? <laughs> Did I hear that right? Let's reread that. Let's hear that again. A Czech nuclear power plant held a bikini contest to pick... A Czech nuclear power plant held a bikini contest to pick their new intern. I thought we were further than that as a species. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Why? <laughs> you know, you know what would be best? For running our nuclear power plant and getting to learn nuclear physics and participating in ensuring that this giant nuclear facility runs safely and cleanly. How good do you look in a bikini? <laughs> oh my god. Pick their new intern and people on the internet made a challenge out of eating bleach. You know, the usual stuff. Let's go back further. A kid born in the first year of the 21st century is 18 years old now. No! No, they're 23! Oh my god. Or 22. 22 or 23. Oh my god, I'm so old. I'm older than that. I'm older than that. Oh my god. Oh my, I remember 2000. Oh my god. Why am I so old? But the century is still young, even if you're not. Oh, wow. It was largely shaped by the attacks on 9-11, which true. led to the war in Afghanistan and the invasion of Iraq. That was, what, 2001? In March 2011, the Syrian civil war began and is still ongoing after seven years. Is that still Most going on now? Born in the 20th century, which had the two most devastating That's wars when I was in born. history and the Cold War. You know, one of my greatest regrets in life is my... One of my grandmas, who's no longer with us anymore, unfortunately, she was an amazingly wonderful woman. And she was like a second mother to me. I mean, we were very, very close. And she had lived through, she was born in 1920 something. <laughs> anyway, she, she lived through the Great Depression. She was very young, but she lived through it. And just the things that she saw and the things that she'd been through. And I, I did talk to her, you know, quite a bit about her past growing up. And I got to hear a lot of awesome, interesting stories. But I really wish I would have sat down with her more before she passed. And just really just said, hey, tell me a story from your childhood. Tell me a story from when you were younger or just in your past. Tell me a story and let me write it down. Let me record it. I unfortunately did not do that. I did not think of that until after she passed. And I really wish I would have. So if you have grandparents out there that have been alive through some really interesting things, or even, you know, if they're just someone that you care deeply about, go ahead, take the time, take a day, go visit, and ask to hear some stories. Write them down, record them. Because 10, 20, 30, 40 years in the future, you're not going to remember. Write them down. Get them documented. Record them. It'd be a really awesome thing to listen to one day. For the first time ever, we could destroy ourselves with nuclear weapons, and we almost did, but we also yeah, had a, a few times. race and left Earth for the first time. The internet was also invented, which led to memes, but also to Facebook and Twitter. Internet! So in all, we're not sure if this was a good development. <laughs> the average human lives about 79 years, which covers a good chunk of recent history. 
I actually think that the average lifespan in the U.S. now is 90, somewhere between 93 and 97, or I'm sorry, 83 and 87. The oldest living person on Earth is currently Salino Jaramillo, who was born in 1896, which means that his birth was closer Can to you imagine? ruling Europe than to the current day. Wow. Only 250 years ago, the, things, the Industrial Revolution... The things that person has seen and the stories that that person could tell. ...turned the world into a progress machine. Farmers became workers and knowledge became easier to distribute. Yeah. Around this time, we started the progress that is causing climate change today. Not that long ago, actually. The theory of evolution changed... Yeah, if you think about itself. it, if you think about it on a, on a humanity time scale, the Industrial Revolution was like, just happened, basically, you know, for our history. And uh, every everything, all these amazing wonders that we call modern technology are just the blink of an eye in our history as a species. There was so much more time before that and the world we live in newton wrote down his theory of gravity we discovered distant stars and very close bacteria yeah the 15th century was very eventful columbus's discovery of america and i love that so much how they teach that in school and i i also love how uh they don't like it and rightfully so but a lot of people refer to native americans as indians and they don't realize where that comes from the reason that they're called or they were called indians is because christopher columbus and his crew landed and they thought that they were in india because they were looking for india for the spice trade and he said we're in india these are the indians and it's stuck <laughs> even long after they realized that they were not, in fact, in India. <laughs> so don't call Native Americans Indians. <laughs> call them Native Americans. <laughs> and the fall of Constantinople marked the end of the Middle Ages. War was all the rage in the Middle Ages, but the number one killer was disease. Oh, the Black, the Black Plague. Plague. killed every third European in just six years. Around 2,000 years ago, we set the arbitrary year one of our calendar that most of the world follows today. But to a Roman, the world was already ancient. The Great Pyramids were constructed 4,500 years ago. So to a Roman, the pyramids were older than the Romans are to us today. To a Roman, the pyramids were older to them than the Romans are to us today. Wow, those pyramids are old. 4,000 years is a long time. So long ago that there were still living mammoths on Earth. Ooh. A lot of history happened before that even. Around 7,000 years ago, humans began writing things down. Ah, About 12,000 years ago, human organization exploded. We built our first temple, and around the world, mankind began farming, which enabled the rise of larger communities. That's basically when society took root, isn't it? Is around that time when we started settling down in places and started farming. And then as you started farming, that, you know, increased the need uh, for people to tend to the crops, which meant that more people had to live there, which meant you need more housing, which meant you need more food. And then you needed the skilled labor for all that stuff. And kind of society just blew up out of that. It got really nuts really fast. Our dominance over planet Earth really begins here. Homo sapiens sapiens, the modern human, evolved at least 200,000 years ago. Okay. 50,000. I thought it was about 200,000, give or take a little bit. Years ago, the cognitive revolution expanded our minds and innovation. Back then, we shared Earth with at least five other human species that either died out or were killed by us. Probably the later. We tend not to like things that are different than us. As a whole, it seems to be a trend. So we probably killed them off. At least two million years ago, our ancestors already had control over fire and constructed tools from wood and stone. And six million years ago, the last common ancestors of chimpanzees and humans existed. Six million years ago? That is a long time. Isn't the Earth only like eight million years old? Or nine million years? No, no. It's like eight billion years with a B, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm an idiot. So this graph is all of human history. Our close relative Homo erectus 
survived 10 times longer than we have existed. Wow. This tiny part is the human era. Look at that little sliver. You have to zoom in a lot to even see your lifetime. Jeez. Still, all of human history is not that long. 65 million years ago, the age of the dinosaurs ended in an enormous explosion. The dinosaurs ruled the Earth for over 165 million years, 27 times as long as all humans. That's so long that it means a T-Rex that lived 65 million years ago is closer to us today than to a live Stegosaurus. What the hell? I never realized that the dinosaurs were around that long. I mean, I know that they dominated the Earth, but wow, that long? Dinosaurs in the form of mighty chickens are still around today. <laughs> mighty chickens. Animal life on this planet started 600 million years ago. The earliest animals were fish and other small and stuff. sea creatures. Then came insects, then reptiles, and finally, around 200 million years ago, mammals joined the party. I love the way I love the way that they're representing the graphs here and they're kind of zooming way way out as they as they go back further but it's still giving you a bit of a picture if you kind of think back in your mind I mean it, it just began much further back there is evidence that it appeared up to 4.1 billion years ago wow. for at least 3.5 billion years life consisted only of single celled organisms 4.5 billion years ago, the sun was born from a gigantic imploding gas cloud. Six the hefty majority of time experienced so far that life was possible in on our planet, it has existed. I know that there's a lot of different factors that at play here, right? There's a lot of complex things about life, and we don't fully understand it because we are the only <laughs> sample that we have to go by. We don't have another example on another planet. But this is actually very helpful because the vast majority of time that life was possible to exist, that the earth existed around the sun, life did exist. Something to think about. Even if it was single-celled organisms for quite a long time, it was there. 60 million years later, earth formed. Look at that. In those early years, the light blue to green. Comets and asteroids supplied the earth with large oceans. But as far as the whole universe goes, our solar system is pretty new. I had heard a fact and I, I can't remember where I heard it. So take it with a grain of salt because I don't have a source here. I had heard that approximately half of all of the water that's on earth today predates the earth. It's older than the earth itself, which is insane. 13.75 billion years ago, the universe was born and about half a billion years later, wow. our own galaxy formed from billions of stars. But what came before the big bang? The truth is, we don't know, and maybe we never will. And there you have it, the past. Now let's take a look at what we know about the future. Mm -hmm. In roughly one billion years, the sun will be so hot that life on Earth becomes impossible. Okay. The death of the sun four billion years later marks the end of life in the solar system. So we're at the tail end of life. To survive, we need to have ventured to the stars. On Earth, anyway. And what happens after that? In the next 100 billion years, most huh. of the bigger stars around will die. You can't even see history anymore on this graph. <laughs> it's just future. History is the quarter of a pixel on the left, where our colors would be, that denote the entire existence of everything up until now. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> The universe becomes dimmer and dimmer, illuminated only by smaller red and white dwarfs. But they too will eventually burn out, and one day, the last star in the universe will die. The universe will turn dark, and at some point, even black holes will evaporate and die. When they do, our universe will reach its final stage, heat death. Nothing changes anymore, the universe is dead. Yep. Forever. Probably. <laughs> now, you're feeling some pretty weird feelings right now, aren't you? That's so far in the future it's that it may as well not happen. The good news is, as far as we're concerned, far, far away. The only time that actually matters is now. That cute girl or boy you like, ask them out. Yeah, go do it right now. It's precious. You pause this video.
right now. You pause it. You pause it. And you ask them out. You give them a call. I'm old fashioned. You slide into their DMs. <laughs> Shoot them a text. And you, you ask them out. Just do it. What's the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is they say no. Okay? That's it. And then you move on. You know the answer now. Your alternative is you never ask them out and then you never know. And it never goes your way. So get it out of the way. Go ask. Make it count. That was a beautiful video. I loved it. Wow. And I really love how they brought back the second from the beginning to the end of the video. That was just, just like that full circle loop brings everything to closure. I love it so much. It's so mind blowing. <laughs> Time is insane.